Well, and I would say, um, what's your goal? Is your goal to lose weight? Is your goal to maintain weight? Is your goal to build strength and muscle? Um, all of these different factors are going to change what your macros um, may be. At Verda, it, we handle this a little bit differently. Um, and we really focus on, you know, it's we're trying to treat type 2 diabetes. We really uh, focus on carbohydrates, getting an adequate amount of protein. And then in terms of the fat, we, we don't count calories and we don't prescribe a certain amount of fat. We really teach you about hunger and satiety, and we um, encourage people to eat fat to satiety. Mm. So we, we try to stay away from macros because when somebody comes to us and they carry extra weight and they want to lose weight, um, uh, it's, what's coming in is different than what the body is burning. That's how sure, people lose absolutely. weight. Um, and so, again, as, as uh, Amy said, we um, individualize carbohydrate intake to a, a, a restricted level where they can get into nutritional ketosis. We guide them to eat protein in moderation, but you know, enough to maintain lean tissue and function, but mm -hmm. uh, not to overeat protein. And then we counsel people to eat fat, add fat to satiety. Um, and what that means is trust your instincts. Yeah. Uh, and so often with people, when they're eating a high carbohydrate diet, they don't get that sense of satiety, and they're surprised that, hey, it, I'm, there's still food on my plate, and I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. Mm -hmm. um, and we coach people through that process. And one's natural instincts are, after significant weight loss, is that the body will um, basically give a person signals that, you know, you know a little more fat. Yeah. But, a, we Start don't count some people again. to eat a specific amount of fat, and we definitely don't tell people eat more fat to make your ketones go up because that doesn't work. Ketone production is a function of how much carbohydrate you eat, which is the biggest driver, keeping it low enough to maintain uh, the liver in a state where it produces ketones, not overeating protein, which protein is not a, a very potent suppressor, but it's a moderate suppressor Makes of ketone sense. production. And then the other factor that brings ketones up moderately is adding a moderate amount of, of endurance type activity. Mm -hmm. And if Getting people have, have the energy level and they don't have the lower extremity and back problems that, that prevent uh, excess illness, then exercise can be a factor as well. Yeah, and that's for many of our patients, it's been a really successful component. It's just getting moving in terms of a walk after dinner or something like that. Mm -hmm. Been really helpful for a lot of people. But we don't encourage people to purposely add a, a specific amount of fat to mm -hmm. the diet. Um, uh, only to add fat to the point where um, that that meal, um, uh, that day, they have adequate sense of satiety that they're not constantly thinking about and, yeah. and obsessing over food. Yeah, I certainly hear people say, well, if I, if I add more fat, will it help my ketones go up? But as you mentioned, it's, it's not the main driver. And then if, you're, if you have that thinking, then you're potentially getting more calories than you really need and potentially stalling weight loss mm -hmm. yeah. if that's your goal. Yeah. Again, so, the process of keto adaptation gives the body permission to burn fat at twice the rate. And at least initially, it doesn't care whether it comes from inside or from or the mouth. From, yep. okay.